Good morning, sir. Welcome, Good morning. Welcome to Elbite's interview of the week. I will begin with the first question, which is: Is domestic tourism likely to see a quick rebound? What are your thoughts? In my opinion, domestic tourism will increase very fast. In fact, uh, there is a trend that in Rajasthan, which is now totally open for all the tourists, all the weekends are sold out. In fact, uh, I am running a resort in Rishikesh. We have been receiving a lot of queries. So far, people are not able to go only because of restriction. I'll just give you one example. Earlier, we used to get one night or two night booking at a resort. Nowadays, we are getting booking for one month, two mm. weeks, ten days. But now people will start staying for more time. Since now working from home culture is there, the uh, students are studying from their home. So people are more likely to go to somewhere where they can have relaxed vacation. They can enjoy. It's called stay vacation. Now I came across uh, examples of two countries. Uh, one is Barbados and one is Estonia. which have instituted sort of attractive schemes just to get people who are now called digital nomads so are there any such uh, marketing efforts solely at digital nomads that are being pushed by property owners what typically is happening everything is going to zoom thing yes people are just digital marketing and other sources that are digital media What going to happen in coming days? All field jobs that will be taken up. Do you think uh, rural tourism is likely to see greater interest? Like, would people want to sort of go out for stays at homestays or places located where you can sort of maintain social distancing and protocols like that? It may not happen in my opinion. The only reason is that uh, at this time, crisis time, because. So there is demand for traveling. However, COVID is still there, and it will remain there for next week or year. The only problem with rural storage or homestay is that it's very difficult to maintain hygiene factor. What is going to happen? The resort owner is going to ensure the confidence to customers that yes, we are maintaining proper hygiene. Now, what are some of the key changes you think? Travelers will make on their part when coming to vacation now in a post-COVID world. Sort of what uh, steps would they would would you expect them to maintain? I mean, yes, it is one thing for customers to expect the resort or the property owner to maintain levels of hygiene, but I'm sure it cannot just be a one-way street where only the hotel or the resort is taking steps. What steps would you expect the guests to maintain so that your staff? Uh, are, are also safeguard against contracting the virus. Yeah, it's very pertinent question because what's happening? We are maintaining, we are ensuring that proper hygiene is there. But this is again two-way street as you have already mentioned. It's very important for guests also to ensure that we maintain all, and follow all the safety security procedures. For example, using masks, maintaining proper hygiene. Many times people come to us and say that why don't you open swimming pool? Opening swimming pool is very very risky at this time because the virus will spread only for the safety purpose of our staff. It's also also for the purpose of our guests who are coming. So guests also need to understand that the time has changed now. Guests rejuvenate by enjoying the fresh air by taking spa therapy. Do you think there's going to be a preference for people opting for activities like trekking or hiking, or it's going to be more or less similar as it was before COVID struck? I mean, the premise that I'm coming from is the fact that, again, uh, like you mentioned, you know, connecting with nature or staying closer to nature, and uh, a Hong Kong-based uh, travel portal called Kluk seems to pick up a lot of queries for hiking in the immediate. Uh, locality so do you think there might be a preference for that so say they now want to explore the nature this is number one reason the second reason is that india is young country there are so many young people 
they will prefer to venture out and they would like to go for life they want us to learn some packages a lot of people do not actually explore their own backyards like to give you an example it's quite possible that many who stay in agra may have never seen the taj mahal but they may have seen let's say phuket or a bangkok uh, do you think there's going to be greater interest in people exploring their own backyard yes i think it's a right people will go for vacations where they can create their own care for us mm-hmm. and that will happen within three four hours distance people are going to explore the areas which they have not explored in a day time they used to travel to say usa mm-hmm. singapore maldives other places now they are saying that you'd like to go to places where we can drive to car and we don't want to stay anywhere in between i visited agra when i was i think 38 year old or 40 year old i guess it will spur people to now explore their own immediate vicinity but thank you so much sir for taking the time out to answer our question my best wishes thank you